Hey folks, uh, this lesson is solving absolute value equations. Uh, this is part one. Part two, we're going to get uh, some different solutions. So anyways, um, our question here is how can we solve absolute value equations? It'll be the same question in the next uh, part two. So here we're going to solve this uh, equation uh, using this graph, so using the graphing method. So what I'm going to do is let this side be y and let this side be y and then wherever this y which is an absolute value equation that we learned how to graph in the last lesson uh, equals this y this is just a horizontal line at y equals 2 where they intersect that's where uh, our solution will be and remember we want the x part of that okay so let's go ahead and get started here so so let's graph this side um, uh, using our absolute value graphing skills from the last lesson so the vertex is opposite same so 5 negative 4 and then we'll graph this horizontal line right here okay let's graph the 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 absolute value equation first okay so vertex is at 5 negative 4 right there and then we go um, uh, the slope sort of slopey thing is up 2 to the right one so these are going by 2 so 2 4 there's 5 right there there's negative 4 right there so up 2 to the right one and then there's my V right there and then uh, let's graph this so here's the Y sub 1 so let's graph Y sub 2 the horizontal line at Y equals 2 going across right there so right there and then we want these intersection points right there so those intersection points are at 2 2 and 8 2 okay now look at the equation up here it's in terms of X you guys so we want uh, the X part of these answers so we want to know uh, this X and this X so so the solutions to this equation our x equals 2 and x equals 8 right there okay and that's our answer right there okay we know y equals 2 because that's just the horizontal line y equals 2 but where do they equal when x equals right there that's when x equals 2 or x equals 8 all right let's answer a couple of questions here so why might we expect most absolute value equations to have two solutions and then why not three or four okay we'll do these one at a time let's answer the first one here okay so in the in the last lesson I think it was the last lesson part three uh, if we had the absolute value of x equals 5, then x could be uh, plus or minus 5 because the absolute value of negative 5 equals 5 and the absolute value of positive 5 equals 5. So if the absolute value expression uh, does not equal 0, then uh, the value of the inside of the absolute value can either be the positive or negative. Here's plus or minus 5. So uh, there can be at most two solutions. So looking at it graphically right here, uh, we have this uh, absolute value and it intersects this horizontal line at, at most two spots right there, okay? So um, uh, so it can intersect it at, at, at most two spots. And up here, algebraically, um, the inside stuff equals plus or minus the outside stuff. As long as it's not zero. If it's zero, then plus or minus zero is just zero. So anyways, uh, uh, that explains that. And then the second part is, is, is it possible for an absolute value an equation to have no solution? How about one solution? And if so, what would they, they look like graphically? Okay, so I'm going to say yes for both of them. For no solutions, you can have uh, the absolute value with the horizontal line that's above it, and it doesn't intersect this absolute value equation at all or, or below it. It won't intersect that absolute value equation at all. So here, this would be a graphic solution of where it's no solution right here. And here, um, uh, where you're your horizontal line goes through right through the uh, the vertex of our absolute value there would only be one solution right here so here's an example of no solution here's a pictorial example of, of one solution right there okay all right so now we're going to solve the absolute value equation do, using algebra you guys and then we'll graph those solutions on the number line okay so here um, uh, we got this absolute value of 3x and then plus 2 equals 8 now remember uh, from this side note here, uh, we want to get the absolute value all by itself. When the absolute value equals a number all by itself, then we say that inside piece equals plus or minus uh, the outside piece. So let's go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides first, okay? So we get uh, uh, 8 minus 2 is 6. And then remember, when we have uh, algebra-wise an absolute value equals a number, then we say that inside stuff equals plus or minus the outside stuff. So that's what we're going to do here, this inside stuff equals plus or minus this 6. So that just means solve uh, 3x plus, or 3x equals 6 or 3x equals negative 6. Here's my plus 
or minus 6. Okay, and then divide both sides by 3. Then we get x equals 2 or x equals negative 2. Don't forget it said to graph those solutions on this number line. So let's just put a, a dot here at negative 2 and at positive 2 and then label that also. Okay, piece of cake. All right, let's try another one here. A little bit more involved. Okay, so here we want to get this absolute value all by itself. So we're going to first do, just like solving an equation, we're going to plus 2 to both sides. Okay. And then now we're going to, uh, we want to get this absolute value all by itself before we can do that plus or minus thing. So we're going to go ahead and divide by 3. So when we divide by 3, we get um, 21 divided by 3 is 7. Okay, so now we can say it's equal to the plus or minus 7. So once we get the absolute value all by itself, then we say the, the plus or minus part right here. So now we solve. 4x minus 5 equals 7, or 4x minus 5 equals negative 7. Here's plus or minus 7. Okay, then I'm going to go plus 5 plus 5, same time, plus 5 plus 5. And when we do that, we get uh, 4x equals 12, so we'll divide by 4 to get 3. Here we get 4x equals uh, negative 2, so divide by 4, we get... Uh, uh, negative one half and then we'll go ahead and graph so we'll put a dot right here at three and put a dot right here at uh, negative one half and then we'll label that as well okay all right let's try one more here you guys okay so here we have uh, one half out in front so to get rid of the half we multiply both sides by two okay and then it's just equal to that plus or minus 20 right there and then subtract two and then label all of that and and we're done okay all right you guys if you're in my class i'm going to assign you that take care